All right, my friends. Well, I'm at Caesars in, I guess, technically Bartlett, uh, Tennessee, Memphis. Uh, I'm going to kind of focus this whole episode on their uh, uh, store picks. I'm going to talk to Brady at the end, and he'll go and kind of go through some of the things they've got going on. Uh, I don't think they have much of this uh, rare character left. I'm going to have to ask him about that. Uh, they got that single barrel. Uh, I wish they came in a big bottle. I did just buy one. Of the, I got the, bought the 100 the other day. Um, I think everybody knows that I am a big fan of this one. I think that's a fantastic price on there. Got the Ezra Brooks. I got that single barrel rye. It's theirs. I think everything in the yep, everything in this is their stuff. So I just kind of go up here, go a little bit slow. I was going too fast the other day. Not a fan of that. There's the barrels. All right, let's see here. Got the. Hoot and Young. I saw an interview with these guys. They really are the most interesting men in the world. They're pretty, uh, pretty awesome guys. Uh, would love to hang out with the Hoot and, Hoot and Young guys. I think it would be a blast. Got the Kalamut. Got pretty much anything you'd want there. Got the Rye Three. You know, I love this uh, Lucky Seven. And I had the Holiday. I, I, I had a little bit. I was moving. It was the only bottle I could get. I had about this much left. I didn't enjoy it as much as I used to. I'm kind of sad. I'm thinking. Uh, it didn't sit well, so I'm gonna have to get another bottle closer to Christmas because that's my Christmas pour. They're doing a lot of interesting things. I've not tried any of these, but they like putting like tobacco smoke in there and all kind of crazy stuff. Uh, love the Baker Seven. That looks like they got the eight year, six months. Ugh. It's like uh, Cinderella and the uh, one, two, three, four, five dwarves with their little belts on. Someone said it was supposed to be like an apron. It was supposed to apply to women, which is pretty funny. So okay, there's that rare character. And we got the High West. Love that bottle. And as you all know, this is gross. I wasn't a big fan of that either. So just kind of this, just they're not my not my favorite. I do like the price of this big bottle. A lot of people talked about it. I've not had any of this in a while, so I may have to try to do this. Here's some more of these. There's Pritchard. I've not had a lot of this. I've had a couple of them. And Jefferson's Oceans is in a bad bottle for having a big one. I need to start thinking about what the next big one is. I'm going to have to put it up against Elijah Craig. I had this uh, Hemingway. It is very minty to me. I'm probably going to, my brother gave that to me. I may have to, that may sit at my bar for quite a while. I'm going to kind of pan over here for Canadian Chris. Got to make sure Canada is represented. All right, we got lots of the Penelope through here. Uh, this stuff is really starting to kind of grow. In popularity, anybody sees the Rio, they should grab it. I've heard, I've not had it, but I think I hear good things. All right, and we got the uh, Russells. Really hoping to see the Russells 15 this year. Uh, let's see the Bonded Rye. More store picks. A lot of great store picks. Old Dominic really enjoying this uh, this Tennessee Straight whiskey right here and the Bonded. This is actually Christmas in a bottle too. I think I've, I've said this before. A lot of people are going to get this for Christmas for me. Uh, that, are, that are drinking. So this is all MGP stuff that's uh, kind of their store pick too as well. Got the Blue Note. If you're not getting this uncut and unfiltered, fantastic bottle. I probably bought three or four of these bottles and at that price, they're just fantastic. These are, this is 123. I think I've gotten some at 124 and I've heard tell that there's even as much as 128. If you've got a higher Blue Note, let me know. Um, looking for a, may get a big bottle of that and I'm not today because I got in a lot of trouble. But there's the nine. This is another one I'm probably going to get uh, when the wife's not paying attention. Got this bottle. Excited about cracking that one open and seeing it behind me on my bar. All right, we got the, uh, oh, here it is, the Bullet Single Malt. Good job. So I've not had this yet, but this looks fun. I do like the, once again, I'm a, like the bottle game on this. Uh, a lot of these Redwood Empires, I, I really do enjoy these bottles. This is kind of my brother's favorite section over here. Uh, got these, uh, like the wood for double oak. They, uh, every, a lot of the store picks, people are going to start getting these coming out, which is going to be good. They've got the wood of reserve, but not the double oak. All right, let's see. We've got the birthday blend here. Yep, that's tell the orange by the birthday blend. Same mash. There's his old Forrester store pick. This is great, and I've had some of this. And my, my line and green, Lady Distilleries, Lady Master Distillers. Uh, I think here he has some uh, interesting things happening with a uh, rabbit hole that may be happening here. I don't want to spoil anything. I may have said some, may have said too much. Love this bottle. Uh, I love this bottle here too. It's it's great. It's got a cork. It's like you're you know drinking your dad's moonshine, which is fantastic. But you know, not actually moonshine. 
may have to get me a big a big bottle of the Jim Beam just so you can have it. Uncle Nearest. And then I still want the three liter uh, Jack Daniels. I'd it would take me a lifetime to drink all that. We'll get the big handle of the Wild Turkey 101. Have no fear. Um, there's one with Eddie Russell's signature on it. I don't think they no longer have the uh, Matthew McConaughey uh, signature on it. Got the rare breed. Got the. I don't own any Maker's Mark. I really, I guess I, got, I need to step it up. If I get one, I may have to get a store pick of it here. It seems like that's something I would want need. There's a Rebel 100. Oh, Super Zoom. Well, as I kind of scroll, scroll through here, um, got the ride. These are probably the best uh, bargain in the business right now. I get them while they're cheap. I do want to say, if you get a chance, uh, we'd love for you to join the Discord. We help each other hunt. Different cities, different states across the country. Actually, even across the world. We have people in uh, England and other other parts of the world. So, uh, chicken, you know what. Um, so it'd be a good time to go. You can click down in the description. There's a lot of lot of in interesting things in there if you want to read some more about in, in the description about joining the Discord. And also, like and subscribe. If you like this video, it takes two seconds to, not even a second, it takes a millisecond to hit like. And uh, yes, I will be adding this big bottle to my bar. I've not seen this, I don't think. Has anybody had the Evan Williams honey? Uh, Brandy liqueur. Interesting. Hmm, because brand, uh, honey is my jam. So, and Ben Holiday. A bunch of friends have been doing a lot of things with Ben Holiday. I'm not really, I don't, I've not had any of it. I'm going to have to gonna have to break down and try to get a pour of it somewhere. There's a Frank August bottle. No old Granddad 114. Someday I'll see it on the show. In the Oak and Eden. I love these guys with their, they, they give you your own stick. They give you your own stick in there, which is funny. All right. Thank goodness we got Fireball. Cooper's Craft is great. I don't know that I've seen this before. Uh, resilient, bottle of the bar. I don't, I, I don't think I noticed those. I've got the very old Barton. I will probably get a big bottle of a ball. I mean, I don't know. Somebody tell me, is that Ryan? Is that a Ryan? Looks like it might be a Ryan. Um, it's green. That doesn't mean it's Ryan. Oh, all right. I'm gonna have to bend down here. No, I'm not gonna do it. All right. I'll just tell me. I'm probably wrong. So. There's my dad's shoes. Back to like and subscribing. I'm almost uh, hit 4747 today. You know, the eclipse is happening. Uh, that kind of looks like an eclipse right there. Uh, I get to 5,000, I will do a live uh, show from the bar. Hopefully, by the time I get there, it'll be enough that I can do. Uh, I could do that. I wonder if this is a, what if this is a store pick. Is that... All right. Now I'm down. Can I get back up? Oh. This JW Dart or Dant, I'm sorry. Uh, we tried some of this, I didn't I didn't hate it. Uh, I like that it's in a plastic bottle. It's good good travel bottle. Oh the John J. Bowman is down on the bottom shelf now. Oh moving it down. Anybody had this yet? I like the I just like the label. Uh, a lot of a lot of dust in this bottle, so I don't know if anybody loves it or not. Got the Nulu. And I heard a lot of things about the Nulu honey. There's the bell four. Uh, uh, there's the five digits. Scotty Pippins. All right, well, it looks like we've got everything. I am going to go up front uh, after I kind of go through and do some of the other bottles and uh, do a, um, excuse me, and uh, kind of have Brady talk about some of the store picks and some of the things he's got coming on. I'm going to do a super quick pass through the scotch. And then Brady will come up and uh, talk about it, and we always have a good conversation. He's got the best hair in the business. Uh, I'm very jealous of his hair. So, all right, let's see. The quarter cast. Love, the, love my Lagavulin. Love my McAllen. I don't have the big bottle of that. I think I should get the big double look of that. That would look good on my behind me at a bar someplace. As always, I shoot this in 4K. A lot of people complain that I may go too fast, but what you could do is you could slow it down a little bit if I'm going too fast, and you should be able to pause it. And if you see something that you that I'm going over too fast, I think you'd be able to get no problem. There's the Japanese, the Hibiki. All right, and got the Jura 10, which 
is a great introductory scotch and the whiskers and I will go really fast through the tequila we just eyeball some of the bottles hit some of the highlight stuff maybe kind of be back a little bit farther and kind of see if there's something over here that we it's a great bottle may not be any good but a great bottle number one <laughs> You ever see the movie A Million to One? It's one of my great movies. All right, well, I am going to kind of just do a quick pause, pause over here. I know that they have a store pick coming of tequila. Uh, I know they have the, I think the Don Julio. I got to add, oh, maybe. I think it is. I'm not 100% sure. I know it's, I think there's one over here, but I'm not sure it's on the other side. Um, but. Hmm. I like it. All right. Well, all right. Let's go over and uh, let's go over and talk to Brady and see if uh, I think that is. I have to. I have to I have two minute conversation and my brain will freeze up. So another good one, another good one over there. All right. Hey, what am I doing up there? Am I talking? Okay. You're talking. You're talking. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you talk. I'm gonna let you talk. So today um, on. Major Zero's Wonderful Bourbon Channel. Uh -huh. We are thinking about possibly doing a rabbit hole single barrel. Um, the only reason that I'm hesitant about pulling the trigger on one of these is because the retail for these Alice in Wonderland, I think they're called the Amerigolds or no, High Golds, are their $124.99 retail price target. So anything that's a, over $100 retail is always gonna be a hard trigger for me to pull, but we are picking out a rabbit hole single barrel today, possibly. So think, Think of that in the future for all your viewers and listeners and stuff like that. That's exciting. For a single barrel that we might have in here. Otherwise, we also have a Woodford Double Oak barrel coming. We have a new Maker's Barrel coming. We have, God, what I have left on that 1792 barrel is all I got left of that 1792 full proof single barrel. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. I have a whole other barrel in the back that I'll be putting out as soon as that barrel tops empty. Um, we have a Corazon tequila barrel that uh, will be $39.99 and it will have been aged in Weller Special Reserve barrels as well. Nice. Um, I'm really excited for that one. And then, oh yeah, the it, it, Old it, Dominic barrel as well that uh, I think Bruzel also picked out a barrel of too. We will also have a, another Old Dominic. I was part of that. I was part of that pick. Ah, that's what I saw. <laughs> hopefully, y'all picked a good one. Yeah, we, we did. So hopefully, so. Or you got the ones that I didn't pick. You never know. Oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. That, that's, that, that's, that, that seems that seems about right. So I'm just yeah, I was I was on a committee of a group of yeah, people. Yeah, so, yeah. So. Um, but we got some exciting things coming. Um, not a whole lot of really crazy allegations stuff I mean we are kind of out of season so it's yeah. one of those things where it's like right now the most allocated item I have is of course traveler the traveler and allocated it's right. just Chris Stapleton's whiskey that he doesn't drink because he doesn't drink right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's one of those things that we're moving fairly well of well you got, um, I, I would say that and I'll kind of pan over here you have a very large selection of, of fantastic sto store picks I, I own I own this bottle. Uh, I, I I think this is the only crown uh, hand selected barrel I've ever seen. So we're the only ones in town with it. Yeah, I've ever, I've only seen it. <laughs> so, and I mean, and I don't yeah. have very much left. What's on that barrel top? Plus one, two, three, four, five cases. Yes, I I, I agree one hundred percent. This yeah. is something. This is this is great. Uh, I just also painting. these. What oh, I have on oh, yeah. this shelf plus three more cases is all I got left in my old Forester, so that's almost gone too. Yep. Um, Elijah yeah. Craig's almost gone. What's on the top of that shelf plus one more case back here is all that's I got the, in my Elijah Craig. It's the barrel proof. So Oops, sorry. we're about to rinse out of some single barrels here soon. So if you haven't gotten any of our really good stuff, you need to come in and get it. Oh, there's the um, A there's the A124 the. The new barrel proof on that one, sorry. Yeah, it's like, got the, oh, got it's the, not the C923, it was 13 years, and now they've gone to 10 or 12 or whatever. It's just like, it's Elijah Craig barrel proof. It's Heaven Hill stuff. They wouldn't bottle it if they didn't think it was good. Exactly. You know? so. <laughs> but, yeah, we got a couple exciting single barrels so you, coming. You, you and can't then, pull into that back and let us see any of that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah let's, so, see, let's see some of that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was the package that came in today. Um, oh. We're excited. Um, we're not exactly certain... If we want to pull the trigger on this again, it's a $124.99 retail price for the Alice in Wonderland bottles. 
If uh, none of your viewers have seen them, please do a quick Google search. They're all cool. Every six pack of the rabbit hole uh, high golds are all like an individual, I think it's like one of a kind illustration of an Alice in Wonderland character. Oh, nice. So they have the queen, of course they have Alice with these cool stunner shades on, and they have a bunch of other cool stuff as well. So awesome. we're, we're hesitant, but we're we'll also be the only people with this. So it's something that we're going to consider probably yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be running some tastings with the staff, some of my customers, and all that stuff to see if there's one of these three that we'll end up going with. All right. So all right. we'll see. All right. <laughs> we'll well, I'm, I'm going to go over here and show some of the other uh, single barrels they've got here. That they got the three cord. Let's see if we can get this over here. Got the Ezra Brooks running out of this. I think you're all out of your uh, the rare character, right? Oh um, no, so uh, uh, there is our single barrel display in the corner, the uh, middle okay. barrel has uh, all we got left, and then what's on the shelf, which is literally less than two cases. I was going to say, there was two, and, and you told me before in Arkansas, that stuff's like gold, so right? So it's not even on the Arkansas resale pages, which if y'all are on those, shame on y'all. Um, but, however, some of the resale Facebook page do already have that uh, rare character barrel pick of ours, double the price of what we sell it for. Wow. So it's just one of those things where, you know... At this point, we don't have very much left. So again, if you haven't came in and gotten our good stuff yet, you need to make an effort to, because it's going to be gone before the summer ends by right. by far. Someone said this is, uh, is this Willet Juice? No, no, no I'm, I'm sorry, I'm no Old Dickel. It was Old Dickel. It was well, it was yeah, it was bottled it was bottled in Tullahoma. I'm sorry. It's so they're not going to say it's Dickel. However, yeah. here's the thing: it's a blend between Kentucky MGP and Tennessee Spirit. Barreled and bottled. I think it's I, in Tullahoma. It's in Tullahoma. Yeah, it's in Tullahoma. If it's anything <laughs> that's been barreled and bottled in Tullahoma, it's definitely got to be Dickel. Right. Especially considering if they're getting an 18 year age statement, which this is, mm -hmm. the only people in Tullahoma and hell, the only people that probably have 18 year old juice to source is George Dickel. <laughs> right, <Yeah>. exactly. <laughs> so, so, I mean. <laughs> I'm not saying that's George Dickel, but there is a very high likelihood a lot that there's George Dickel yeah. juice inside there. Yeah. A lot of a lot of possibilities there. So. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate it. I'm gonna yeah, go through here, man. go over here, make sure I highlight all the store. Really, I, I can't think of anybody else who has more store picks. Uh, this is not a store pick, and I think. I wish. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh, is that? Nope, that's not that's not a store pick either. I'm terrible. Oh, I, I, yeah, yeah. 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 Store oh, it is a store. It was a, it is a store pick of right, Don Julio. Yeah. So okay, I was gonna say I am pretty terrible at this. So, um, have you got the single malt of the uh, the bullet yet, or have you seen yeah, it? I think I have it on the shelf. Okay. Right there. Yeah, um, this is another good another solid. one too. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> kind of go back through here. All right, and I'm gonna go over here and take a look at the uh, tater bottles that they got that I love so much. Got the rare hair. It's a family name of ours. That's an interesting thing. Got the Heaven Hill 18. Got the Grand Patron. I'm gonna get these guys up top here. And we'll go and see if everyone tell me about how I should have gotten all those tequilas. Don Julio's not a bad price. Got the Dalmore. Got some of the scotches over here. Hung out with some guys that were Dickel fans this weekend. Oh, look at that 12. Love to get my hands on that. Love the lot of going. So, all right, got the down more. Right. Well, oh, and I love, uh, I love that uh, preservation distillery stuff down there. Oh, let me go over here. All right, well, keep out, keep watching out for the eclipse. Remember, during this time, werewolves turn into super werewolves, and they cannot be defeated. So, if you see a werewolf, just run and hide. All right, slides you, my friend.